welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and today I'm here with another random review, which means I review a movie randomly. That's right. And today, I'm going to take a look back at the 2003 Tim Burton film. It's a, a lot of things. It's a fantasy, it's a drama, it's a comedy, it's pretty much everything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my review of Big Fish, coming up now. Will Bloom has finally had it with his father Edward's stories when he brags and retells the tale about catching an enormous catfish at Will's wedding and the two have a falling out when Will tells him that all of his stories are lies. Three years later, Will finds out his father is dying from cancer and along with his wife return home to be with him. Will asks to hear the story of his father's life to better understand him and tries to separate the fiction from what may actually be fact. So what did I think of Big Fish? I thought it's a fantastic comedy drama fantasy. The film is directed by Tim Burton, and while it certainly has some of those details that are Burton-esque, it's more comparable with his recent films like Big Eyes or Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. It's a bit of different as it's bright and cheery rather than the normally dark or gothic tone in his other films. At points, Big Fish reminded me of The Wizard of Oz, a little bit of Forrest Gump, and maybe a few other fairy tales, but it has its own unique spin that makes everything feel very fresh. The tales of Edward are told through flashbacks, showing some of the very whimsical situations he says he was involved in. We see him as a child with his group of friends encounter the town witch, he befriends a giant and sets out to see the world, ends up working at a bizarre circus, and meets the love of his life he persis persistently tries to court. Much like the character of Will, we can dissect the stories trying to figure out how things might have actually happened as we hear the tall tales, but the stories are so delightful we'd rather just enjoy them for what they are. The film is very unpredictable and I felt like I never truly knew what might be coming around the corner next. There are a bunch of humorous moments which made me laugh out loud, as well as a number of scenes that can get very emotional and might make you even reach for the box of tissues. The father-son relationship plays out very well and never feels cliched. The cast stars Albert Finney as the older version of Edward Bloom, the elderly gentleman who's told fables about his past his entire life, and Ewan McGregor as young Edward Bloom, the hero of his hometown who leaves to see what else is out in the world and gets himself into some interesting circumstances. Billy Crudup as Will, Edward's son who became sick of the tall tales but now wants to know what really happened in his father's life. Jessica Lange as Sandra K. Bloom, Edward's dream girl and wife. Alison Lohman plays the younger version of Sandra, Marion Cotier as Josephine Bloom, Will's French wife who's now pregnant, Helena Bonham Carter as Jenny Hill, an old friend of Edward's that he met when he was, she was a young girl. She also plays the witch. Matthew McGorry as Carl, the misunderstood giant Edward befriends. Steve Buscemi as Norther Winslow, a poet who went missing that Edward finds. And Danny DeVito as Amos Calloway, the ringmaster of the circus who has a big secret. Also keep a close eye out for a young Miley Cyrus in a minor role. Big Fish is a beautifully told bizarre yet heartwarming experience. I'm going to give it the rating of A-List Approved. That's right, it gets the A-List. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Bay List. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at Wes A List. 
Until next time, troop out.